Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Ball and All podcast. It's your number one basketball podcast out of here in South Africa. We're continuing with our Basketball Africa League coverage uh, for this year of our Lord 2022. Uh, my name is Mpo Mutlani, and you can follow me on these uh, platforms. I'm a commentator. I'm also a podcaster here. And you can subscribe to my channel, follow me on these platforms. We're day four of Basketball Africa League in the Sahara Conference in Dakar. Um, obviously, here the teams in the Sahara Conference, Duke, Slack, Beira, Monastir, Rig, and Saleh. And we had some great fixtures um, last night, some tight fixtures. So far in the tournament, it's been the teams with who had the best third quarter who've won. Now we're actually moving to the business end, where the team who had the best fourth quarter ends up winning the game. Um, it was really intriguing to see and really good to see tight games. Nothing was separating the four teams that played um, yesterday. And I think those are the four teams that actually would be vying for the other three spots after Monastir um, in, this, in, in, this, in, this, in this group of Sahara. Let's have a look at the first game. The first game was a tight one. It was a two-point game. Um, effectively, Reg winning against Slack in the last shot of the game. Four seconds to go. Jean-Jacques and Chobozo, who had an incredible game of 15 points, four assists, um, three, uh, three rebounds, also four steals. He had a really great, he padded his stats. It was a really great game for him in terms of all the categories, all the statistical categories uh, offensively. He was the guy who closed it out. On top of that, he was one of the great defensive uh, stoppers. He really did put a handle on Marcus Crawford. Um, and obviously, Anthony Walker as well was a little bit silent um, for Slack there. But uh, REG winning off of a, off of a, off of a game-winning basket, a walk-off uh, basket, if I may say. But if you look at the teams and, 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 and what, what, what necessarily happened in that game, nothing separated both teams. Uh, Reg went on a seven-point lead at the beginning, um, and then uh, Slack came back in the second half. To, they went into the second half tied. Um, and in the third quarter, Reg had a one-point lead in the third, and then they just continued that with another one-point lead in the fourth to win the game by two. They were behind. There was a point with 12 seconds to go. Uh, Obekpa, who's been incredible, he's blocking everything. He's a really great defensive presence, um, is Obekpa um, of Slack. He, um, he had 17 points and uh, 14, uh, 14 rebounds and four assists. He had a really awesome game with four blocks. Um, and he got the steal. He went up for the lap and there's four seconds left. And um, there's a timeout called... Um, there was 12 seconds left. And obviously, uh, Slack Crawford brings the ball up the court. Uh, with four seconds to go, he gets double teamed, passes out to Shabozwa on the on the elbow, and he then drains the three to win the game for them. It was really lovely to see. But let's look at at, at how the both of these teams fared. Um, from a points perspective, um, Cleveland Thomas was had a great game for our run the energy group. He is their talisman. He is their scorer, 24 points. Marcus Crawford came off with 20 points there. Um, and it was disappointing for me because I always kind of feel like Slack need Crawford to actually step up. Um, he was 8 for 17 from the field, 47% field goal percentage, 57% um, uh, from 3 and 40% from 2. Obekpa was there with 17. Dan Anthony Miller got 16 points. J uh, Nziako, who the guy they got from uh, FAP last year, he was a 4 from 11 from the field on 17 points. He's the one guy you could have said this maybe. Their bench only contributed 11 points, but only two players played off the bench. They actually played a, a very small um, roster yesterday. Um, on the other hand, if you look at the Rwanda Energy Group, uh, you had uh, Thomas on 24 points uh, with five rebounds and five and, and no assists, actually, surprisingly, um, with three steals. Uh, Jean uh, Shoboza coming off the bench with 15 points, three uh, rebounds, four assists, three steals um, in that game. He just missed a block there to, to get himself on on, on all statistical uh, measures. 
And if you uh, obviously Anthony Walker, eleven points, five from nine from the field. He needs to shoot a little bit more. Didier and Desire, he didn't have a great game in the first game, but he came back with thirteen points. He was six from fourteen from the field. Really good to see that this team. But it it it, it, it was a really good defensive contest. There were lots of turnovers. There was a lot of uh, steals. There were lots of blocks. There was a point where Obekpa blocked um uh, blocked. Uh, I think it was the rig um the rig the the rig uh, players three times. But then it ended up getting the, the and Shoboza ended up stealing the ball, getting it and shooting it from uh, for for three to get it in and 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 help them take the lead. There was a lot of lead changes in this game, which was really nice. It was action packed from start to finish. This is the type of stuff you want, and it feels like it was a playoff game. I think from two teams who really wanted to get, get that win. What that means is that Rig go up two and zero. Uh, 100%. Uh, same with Monastir. Slack go one and three, one and two in three games. That's 33 point uh, win percentage. They just go down a little bit. But there's going to be a lot of basketball. And even with the teams Saleh and Beira, they're going to be competing with Slack. And Slack can come out with some of the really good side. I think they protect the interior very well. They got beaten on the wings. Um, but um, for Reg, Reg, Reg have. Uh, don't have that that big presence in the paint, but they make it work with their guards. Their guard play Walker and Shoboza off the bench, as well as Crawford uh, as a starter. They really do uh, dominate from that era area, and they they shoot really re they shoot really well. Um, does this rig team? If you look at their three point stats, um, they shot about thirty four percent, which is a little bit lower than what you would expect, but still not bad for a team. Um, but they, they 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 sit on that perimeter. They took 30, 29 shots in the perimeter compared to Slack taking 14 um, from three, even though they were six from 14. So you can see the different styles of play. It's a lot more guard uh, centric rather than necessarily um, than necessarily um, forward centric with Slack with their points in the paint to 36 compared to 13 from Reg. Um, and 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 they they live and die in the paint. There were lots of turnovers in this game, and the points of turnovers really kept range in the game. And Shoboza's defense is really good, um, and and he's he he really does know how to be able to turn things around. Um, the other thing was that offensive rebounding, nineteen points from Rich um, in second chance points compared to seven from Slack, and that's largely because of. Um, of the necessarily the missed shots that that Rage had um, from three, but there was always something. It was a little bit frustrating watching Slack not get rebounds. It's one of those teams where guys are tall, and you just feel like, oh no, we've got a back bar um, in there. We've got Zaku who can just sit and take. And guys are boxing out from Rage getting those. So that was really nice to see. The second game. Uh, which was a late night game, a 9 p.m. game in Dakar. Ea Saleh was looking for their first win, and they managed to get it against Abeira. It was it was a massive fourth quarter turnaround. It was 31 points to Saleh compared to 13 from Beira to turn it around um, and win it for them. It was about an 18-point turnaround in this game from Saleh, and it was a Terrell Stoglin show. Man was man of the was, was highest points getter in the previous BAL. He's got the holds record for the most points in the BAL, in a BAL match with 40. He scored 34. He scored 32 in the first game. He's scoring 34 now. And the thing about the first game where they lost was that um, Massa, as well as um, who's that other player, Haruna, weren't coming in. They didn't score. They, they weren't helping him offensively everything was going through uh Stoglin um and 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 they weren't helping him necessarily get a free or necessarily using Stoglin to get the others free this time it kind of worked Massa came out with 16 points and 13 rebounds Haruna came out with 22 points but in the end um in that fourth quarter uh fourth quarter swung because of the amount of uh, of 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 drives in the paint that 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 Saleh was going for they were really attacking Beira in the heart of that of their defense, Barrow were playing a, a very interesting zone that Saleh really struggled to try and figure out throughout the game. But in the fourth quarter, um, the shackles were broken and, and Saleh just went straight through. Um, a fave of mine in that game, Bukichu, the, the center, number 50. Um, he had some really lovely um, threes at the top of the at the top of the of of of, of the of the semicircle um, where. It, it felt like it was a, 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 a center, a trailing three. He's struggling to get up the court and he's there. He's open. Nobody's guarding him. He just The point guard just turns and just lays it off from him. And he was slotting it. He slot two threes from there in the fourth quarter. That kind of opened up the gap. And then as they were trying to come back, they just didn't have the same scoring they had in the first 
couple of quarters compared to um, in the fourth quarter. So that was really disappointing um, from them. But the important thing for me with Sally was they gave us five minutes of defense. In that five last five minutes of the game, they were really good. They locked in on defense. There were a lot of turnovers that were created. Haruna had a block. Haruna also got his rebounds. Um, and as they went through, Stoglin was now getting rebounds, getting in the paint, looking to get stuff. Massa was also coming through with the blocks. And in that, those were being turned into points. Um, whereas on the other end, um, Slack were not be able to, were, weren't able to match up pound for pound because I think in both games, every, every team was like coming down, matching each other, bas basket for basket, um, or even defensive stop for defensive stop. Here, this collection of defensive stops in the last five minutes really helped Saleh come through. Um, and, and, and that was, was what, what effectively helped them get through this game and, and do it really well. It was I was impressed by the defense. It, it kind of feels like you don't need to do defense the entire – Saleh doesn't need to defend the entire game. They know that with a guy like Stoglin and guys like Masa and Haruna, do, you know, this, they can get, they can keep you there against the best in the tournament. What you then need is you have to have periods where you lock down and you open up the gap. And once you've opened up the gap, you don't allow them to come in. Really great time for Liz to try and get them to do the defense the last five minutes. Liz Mills, the coach of Saleh, because they were already there. They already tied the game uh, from being seven points down coming to the third and then into the fourth. And then once they had tied the game, the Saleh team was locked in. So the effort from Stoglin and Massa was really visible um, to be seen. Because sometimes, obviously, stats don't stats say something, but you, the eye test tells you something. And I really loved how Stoglin was going. He was, he was trying to put his hands everywhere, trying to make sure they get the ball. And and, and you can see it meant a lot more to them. Beira, on the other hand, um, they're a really good side. They should make the playoffs where they are, the way they're playing. Um, they just ran out of gas in the end. Um, and they just couldn't match up to the high octane offense from this um, from the Saleh team, and it, it was really good game. It was really awesome, and well done to Saleh. So now let's just look at the fixtures coming up. So on the 11th, which is tomorrow, you've got Saleh playing Monastir. That's going to be a great game, a North African derby. Um, if Saleh can just take a win off of Monastir, they will have put themselves um, firmly in, into the playoffs. Uh, Duke play REG. This is a this is a chance for the home team um, to 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 salvage some pride and get themselves on the board and 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 beating a team like REG who uh, took out the Patriots who made it fourth. So the REG have have a lot of work to do in terms of trying to get to Kigali for the playoffs. But I think they're halfway there. Um, and Duke will be playing them against the home side. There's lots of noise, lots of energy. And then on the top, you've got Slack and Beira. That's a game to watch. I think that's going to be a really good game for the battle of the number threes, um, or number threes and fours um, in this tournament. A really important playoff, with important playoff uh, permutations in that game. And then Monastir plays Duke um, to close off um, on Saturday afternoon at the arena. Uh, in Dakar. Let's look at the table for now. Uh, we've got two teams that are on a 100% win record. That's Monastir and Ridge. And then you've got Saleh, who's got a 50% record as they've split their games. And then you've got Slack and Beira on 33%. Um, they are one and two. And then Duke um, having it to open their account. So if Duke can win tomorrow night um, against, uh, against REG, they put themselves back into the hunt of this thing that's enough for me from the ball and all podcast remember please do subscribe and follow me on the various social media platforms share widely let's get the game being spoken about on this african content for myself i'm paul from south africa Lesale. goodbye and Lesale.